This is the Edexcel IGCSE January 2020 series paper 2HR and we're looking at question 26, a vector question. You might want to pause the video now so you can just familiarise yourself with the question. But what we're being asked to find is the vector from O to some point N which as yet we don't know where it is. Now we're told where the location of n is in two different ways. First of all, we're told that it's on the line from O to C, and secondly, it's on the line from A to B. And it's where these two lines intersect that we're going to find the point n. Now, just as you could find the location of a point on a graph where two or where two graphs intersect. So because we're uh, told how to uh, find the vector to n in two different ways, we're going to find its precise location. So first of all, we're told that it's somewhere on the line O to C. So O to n is some fraction of the way along O to C. So O to C We'll write that down and then multiply it by a fractional constant. So we don't know what the fraction is, but we'll call it mu. So that's going directly along from O to C. On the other hand, we also know it's on A to B. And so if we um, use our vectors M, A and B, we can find some fraction along where, sorry, where n is. And this time I'm going to use the uh, Greek letter lambda as the fraction along that line to get to our point n. Now what we want to do is to be able to equate these but at the moment we, here we've got o n and here it's meant to be a n but we can turn this into O n by starting at O, going up to A, and then going along the distance A n. So we know whatever lambda is, it will take us um, along this vector some to some point on the line a b if it was if lambda was half it would take us halfway along from a to b it looks like n is less than half doesn't it we don't know what the fraction is but lambda will represent that unknown similarly with the, the greek letter mu here that's some fraction along here if it was a if mu was a quarter then that would take us from o to a quarter of the way along this line so what we need to do now then is equate these two uh, vectors and where they intersect that will be the point uh, where mu is the fraction along the line where n is and lambda is the fraction along this line where n is. Now we've got, if we equate these, let's do that. Now, if these two vectors are equal, and they are, then we can equate both the uh, terms in A and the terms in B. So, terms in A, we've got mu 3 mu A here. And that is equal to the A's on the right-hand side of the equation. We can also equate the B's. So on this side, we've got so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
this equation first when I'm going to express lambda in terms of mu. Then what I'll do is I'll substitute it into this vector, vector equation, and that will give us just one unknown which we can solve and then find the location of n. So with this vector equation I can ignore the b's which leaves me with and so we can divide by 6 Now I've established this, I can substitute this into this vector equation. So that's a minus 3, lots of lambda is 2 thirds of mu. Again, I can ignore the a's and just think about the numbers. Three lots of two thirds is just two. So we can add the mu's, add on two mu to each side. So what this is telling us is that um, the point N is three fifths of the way along this line, which is the o line um, from O to C. So, so from O to N is three-fifths of that distance. And so therefore we can say ON equals three-fifths of the vector from O to C.